So traders, the Amazon earnings came out and apparently the investors didn't like it and the market is getting slammed. Look at this here, absolutely slammed after market hours. And the same with Robinhood as well too. Robinhood market is just like, all these IPOs, they're coming out and they're getting slammed. Let me actually just share with you what I'm seeing right now. Also a bit of a market update. Also look, mining stocks. Mining stocks are starting to capture a bit of a bid. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, today is the last day to get access to my training because it actually ends today. I've only been running for a few days. So today's the very last day you're gonna get access to this. It's uh, first thing you're gonna learn my number one trading system for the last 16 years. I promise you, that every single person that sees this trading system and understands this trading system, they say, oh my goodness, my only regret is I didn't learn this sooner. I'm gonna share that all with all with you on that free trading system, on that free training. And also I'm gonna share with you two markets. There's two markets right now, two markets that are set to start into a super cycle boom. And I'm gonna show you exactly what markets they are and my target for them as well. Today's the very last day guys to actually get access to the free training. Go to johnsfreetraining.com or there should be a link in the description. As I said before, guys, today's the, the, the actual the free training ends um, today. There's a countdown clock there. I've only had it up for a few days, but today's the last day. Link in the description. Let's have a look at Amazon first and we'll get across all the other markets and Robin Hood and all those other downtown country goodness. All right, so what's happened here with Amazon? Let me actually start off with a bit of a bit of a story here. I personally invested in Amazon. I got into Amazon last, uh, last, uh, or not last week, um, a few weeks ago. All right, you can see this dot down here. See where that dot is right there? That's actually where, right there is where Amazon is uh, right now, where it's actually currently trading. See that blue dot there? That's actually where currently Amazon is trading after market hours, right down there. Okay, so we've had a pretty, pretty, pretty strong seller. Now here's something I really wanna share with you when it comes to your own personal trading. Firstly, one of the biggest mistakes that, that you can make, right? Whenever you start to get that hope feeling, like I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. You know, like I really hope that, that this is going to be a successful trade. I really hope this, right? Firstly, don't hope because, you know, there's there's a win-loss ratio, right, within the system. And the foundations to you getting ahead in the markets uh, is, and I actually talk a lot about that in the training, plus I also share with you my trading system. So again, that link in the description. But um, the thing is, is that we can see that uh, what happened here was this, is that I actually got into Amazon through here. Because I through here, I got into Amazon through here because I saw the market was going to break out. As soon as we broke out, we got a big break about I'm like, okay, here we go. We're getting ready to go. All right, we're getting ready to move. And this is one of the most important things or one of the important things as a trader is to be flexible in the moment. What the market is telling me right here is we are getting ready to go. But guess what? Just like women, <laughs> women are turning off right now. <laughs> Just like women, they change their mind. Like, yeah, yeah, John, you're pretty cool. And then like a week later, John, what the, who the hell are you? <laughs> they change their mind, right? So I knew as soon as I got into here, as soon as this market ran up, I knew that if this market came back down again, I wouldn't want to be part of this. So I actually moved my stop just above break even. It came back, stopped me out, and I was happy to be out of the market. I was no longer, going, oh, you know, or maybe I missed out, all that sort of stuff. No, nothing, right? It's all about protecting my capital. The market ran up. If we are not going to continue to run up, then uh, I don't want to be in part of this position. So I just simply just got out. And so I did get out for a small little profit, and the market ran up. And as you can see, the market made a high here, a lower high, and then after market hours, it's actually dumped all the way down to there. So if there was a bar that looked like that, that's exactly what Amazon would uh, look like. Now, if we have a look at a few things here, you can actually see, look what's happened with Amazon here. We actually had a breakout. Now, this is what we call a false breakout because it broke to the upside. Now we're breaking back down. So there might be a really good opportunity for, it might be a good chance now to actually see Amazon coming back down to here, like right back down to maybe even down towards these low levels down here around the 3000 level. So I wouldn't be too surprised to actually start to see that when it comes to that. I wouldn't put, and then obviously when it comes to the stock market, the NASDAQ, I wouldn't be too surprised to see the NASDAQ pull back tomorrow uh, as well. So right now guys, uh, when it comes to the stock market, just, be flexible with the markets, okay? So uh, last few days, I've actually kept saying, you know, the trend is your friend until the end and so on and so forth. And the trend is your friend until the end. 
but just be flexible. Right now, the trend is up. But in any moment, next week, we could start to roll over and do something like this and roll over and then know that this is now starting to potentially come to an end. And as soon as we start doing something like that, the trend is no longer up. And now you have to put on your warning sign. There has to be a warning sign. So be flexible. Whatever position you're posi whatever the market you're in, stay with the market. Yes, high lows, high lows, high lows, high lows. But when the market is making higher lows, we must, it's important to uh, have a flexible mindset because the market changes and we must change with it. If the market's going up right now, and that's what's happening, uh, but then suddenly we start to top out, again, we need to, we need to bend, we need to bend and mold with that. Um, I wouldn't say trade based on that. Again, you need a trading system. Again, that link in the description, just go, go learn my trading system, guys, okay? You're gonna absolutely just love it. Learn that trading system, you're gonna love it. But when it comes, again, but when it comes to the markets and reading them, um, if the market starts to change, just like Bitcoin did back, you know, back at 65,000, um, we must change with it, okay? We must bend and mold and, and go with it. Uh, let's actually have a look at the hood. Let's have a look at the hood. And what happened with the hood? Just like so many of these IPOs, these IPOs right now, uh, they're like, oh my goodness, it's going to open up. Oh my goodness. And it opens and look what happened. It opens and rallies up. And this actually happened in the first minute. It's like, hey, we go. No. All right. So we can see here in the first minute, it opened, it actually ran, it actually dumped the first minute, 7%, came back up. Then the next minute of open, it ran up 5%. Oh my goodness, I'm missing out, I'm missing out. Oh my goodness, it's time to buy, time to buy, time to get in, time to get in. And then bam, all the way down, rallied up. And now we've actually just continued to tread down through here. Like that. So if we have a look at the day candle, we can actually see that the market is selling off. So my the way that I do guys, I don't invest in IPOs. I, I can't like, I don't, there's not enough data, right? Not data, 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 data. <laughs> How do you say it guys? Is it data or is it data? Uh, I don't know, data, 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 data. That's like date, date her. Like, did, would you date her? I wouldn't date Robin Hood, I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't even give it a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I'll go find something else to give a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man. So that's what's happening with Robin Hood right now, guys. And again, I don't invest in IPOs because, uh, again, there's just no history behind that. So it's a bit of a gamble and I don't like to gamble myself. I like to hop on things that have massive probability. Um, that they're going to work out. And again, if you want to learn that trading system, just go, link in the description, go get access to that, I teach you that. But that's what I wait for, I wait for massive probability trading systems. Now moving on, let's actually move over now, uh, move over now to the gold mining stocks. And let's actually bring this up to a big picture here. I personally am guys, let's, let's talk about 60 seconds, long-term picture. The long-term picture guys, what I mean by that is like, for the, for the rest of this sort of next five years, next 10 years, or yeah, from now through the through 2025, I see the mining stocks and gold capturing a bid. And what I mean by that is I see them, if I bring up, let me actually squeeze uh, this, actually just bring up the one one year with, uh, let's just squeeze this up. So like GDX, I see this thing capturing a bid and starting to make a big move. I don't know if it's going to be now though, guys. Okay, so the way that I'm a way that I'm involved with a lot of these mining stocks and also gold is I'm mean, investing, understanding that hey, because we're getting a little, we're getting a little pop to the upside. Yay! Here we go. I, I wouldn't be too. I wouldn't be too. Like I'm a bullet heart with with the mining stocks, but we have had we did have a move up and now we had a move down. This could easily move up and then suddenly roll over and drop to the downside. It's actually not looking too good right now. Again, guys, I'm a bullet heart and I'm, I'm an investor and I still see a lot more upside. But on the short term, this may happen. So we just need to keep an eye for that. Um, and again, guys, if you are involved with the mining stocks, then no matter what position you have, always have good risk management and always have a stop in place. If you don't have that right now, if you're risking more than 5% of your account on any one position, you're gonna get blown out. And if you don't have any stop in place, you just gotta sit there and hope and pray, 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 right? Just like Amazon, right? If you just did the exact same thing with Amazon, you'd be down now like what? 
twenty percent or something like that, or ten percent on the stock. If you're trading options, then man, that's just the options are getting smashed tomorrow. Options are going to get smashed tomorrow when it comes to Amazon, all right? Because uh, and but because I had good stock management and good risk management, guess what? I protected my capital. I actually made a little profit on there. Got out of the way. And now I'm going to go put that capital to, to work for somewhere else. And therefore, I'm going to continue up. So move over now through to the GDX as well too. The GDX is actually in a bit of a funky trend line. Look, look at this bit of a bit of a funky, dunky um, sort, of tre sort of channel here. Uh, we had this movement down, movement up. And now we've come back down and we're holding this level here strongly. And now we're actually having a little pop to the upside here. So... Again, guys, we're still just overall stuck in this no man's land. Uh, but I truly believe that this no man's land is going to equal, you know, Superman. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This no man's land is going to equal Superman soon. Um, but again, on the short term, that we this could actually just be a little short term fake up and then a roll over. So. We have to be we have to be careful of that guys because that's what could happen there but the but there's a big difference is happening on the silver mining stocks the silver mining stocks um uh, they're actually not looking good and they're actually they could be getting ready for a scream actually i might i was talking to my private clients that i'm like guys we could actually have a shorting opportunity coming on the silver mining stocks i know i'm a bullet heart right shoot me I, i'm just you know don't shoot the message i'm just reading what the market's telling me so the market has come back down through to here on the SILJ and the market's starting to pop back up. If for some reason we hold here and we start to do something like this and then we get a big breakdown move like that, we get something like that. Guess what, guys? If we get something like this over the next, say, obviously tomorrow's Friday and then all the next week, we get something like that in the mining stocks, there's a massive probability we're going to see something like this coming on down. That's going to be the start of the next move on the downside and it may even go a lot lower so we've done nothing for quite some time but if we break we could be if we do that that to me is going to be the start okay we're breaking out now we're probably like we're probably breaking to the downside no we, we're, we are breaking to the downside if we get this therefore we're likely to continue and the same for also the sil the exact same thing is happening on the silver mining stocks again guys i'm a bullet heart but um this is not looking too good so far and we really need to keep an eye on this because again we if it does start to mold then if we do start to sort of do something like this where it pauses and then we get a breakdown like that guess what we're breaking out of this channel and now we're getting a breakdown and then the target if we got that the target as you do this you find the high from there to there and then you find the low from there to there and you project that down. So if we did get a breakdown bar, like a big breakdown bar here, the target for that channel, where you measure from the high of the channel to the low of the channel, is down through here. And so that's where, if we did get a breakdown, um, guys, I'm not saying we're definitely going to, no one knows what's going to happen, okay? But the way we trade the markets is we wait for our confirmation, and that confirmation gives us a probability, not a certainty. That's, that's a hard thing for a lot of new traders who trade the market to understand what I just said there. We wait for a confirmation to give us a probability, not a certainty, that something is going to happen. Right now, there is no probability, right? There is no confirmation. But if I get what I just said there a minute ago, where it holds here for a little bit, I'm not saying it's going to, but if it does, and we do get that, that's now confirmation to give me a probability we're going to at least end up back down towards the 28 level on the SIL. Move over now through to the gold market. And gold is actually holding quite strong. But my, oh my, we are going to break out. And that's right, guys. A breakout simply means it could break down or it could break up. But a breakout simply means it's going to break out either way of this thing here. And because we've been squeezing up so much, I truly believe it because we haven't been doing nothing now for over 12 months on gold, when we get this breakout, either up or down, I'm a bullet heart, guys, but if the market's going to do something different, I must respect the market. And that means if we do start to, if we do start to break above that 1900, then get ready for the next bull leg in the market. So there we go, guys. 
Um, let me know what you think. Are, are you guys actually invested in Amazon or do you know anyone invested in Amazon? What actually happened with Amazon with their earnings? Can you put it in the, in the, thing, in the thing below? I didn't actually look up the earnings too much, but put in the thing below. Uh, also, any of you guys invested in the Robin Hood uh, IPO? Uh, if you did, put in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully you bought the lows. Um, and it's not for me. And also guys, let me know uh, if you guys are still holding, hoping and praying in the mining sector uh or are you starting to get out like what's your position when it comes to mining sector and the metals appreciate that guys once again guys today is the last day to actually get access to this training that i got here i've been running for the last few days but today is the last day it's going to go down you again you're going to learn my number one trading system plus the two markets that i see about to start a super cycle boom link in the description guys and i'll speak to you real soon